Okay, we are here with The Ascent. This is a game that I have not played. I, I only learned about it relatively recently, which is kind of sad. But it is an action RPG with sci-fi aspects. I am hoping... This is going to be a weird thing to say. I'm hoping it's better than my previous experiences with sci-fi action RPGs. Because most of them have been kind of, well, ass. But I have hope for this one. But we'll see if that turns out to be founded or unfounded. So let's go ahead, start new game, and just go on in. Um, I'm Hopefully the settings are good. I've turned everything down just a little bit. If they're a little bit off, go ahead and tell me. And I will try to adjust them. I can, of course, adjust them whenever I'm loading this up for YouTube end of things. But for here, not so much. So let's go ahead and new game in. And we'll make ourselves a new character. I think we, I don't know if we choose a class or anything like that. I could be wrong. I think we just are, but I really have done no research on this. I am going in 100% blind. It's called The Ascent. This is one that I actually got myself while it was on sale. I, I spent my entire month's gaming budget on it. Oh, we got cinematic. Every cycle, thousands of hopefuls make Planetfall in Velus. Most pay the hefty price of passage by contracting away their lives to the corporations as indentured laborers called indents. We are tabs. <laughs> Slaves in all but name. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what corporations want. Just in general. You are an indent with the Ascent Group, the largest corporation in Novellus. I'm guessing that symbol in the middle there is the thing. Stuck in the deep, dank bowels of their massive arcology, you do the menial jobs you're given. Ruby. Why would you come here? Counting off the cycles to end of your to the end of your contract or an early death, whatever comes first. So yeah, we're under contract until we probably die. We're probably gonna get killed on the job. And whoa, little cool robots on the side there. Definitely getting a real super sci-fi thing here. Um Bellis welcomed you with a hard kick to the groin like anyone else. I think is what it said. I didn't get a chance to read that. I was distracted. But you're not down for the count just yet. Groovy. Yeah, this is very much giving me a vibe of... I'm trying to remember the name of the... Oh, God. Blade Runner. There we go. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. For some reason, I couldn't remember that. So, we got two genders. I'm going to go with... Male on that one face. We'll go with... Ooh, we've got, like, attachments. Let's go with attachment guy. Let's go full sci-fi. Pigment. What do we have? We've got basically just a gradient, I'm willing to bet. We can't have, like, green skin. Can I not have green skin? I guess we can be the albino sci-fi guy. Well, I actually prefer... We'll go with that look. As long as we actually have good hair, we can actually go with that. Face ink... We actually get can we actually see the face ink no as far as body ink i think i want to go full sci-fi with that kind of surprised we can't see the face ink oh we can see a little bit on that one let's go with that we want our little glowy bits so that'll work out style main color uh we have to go with like the channel colors i think have any blues? That's cipher blue. I think neon blue might be the closest we can get. Support color is going to be probably white and blue. Uh, we'll go with clean white. Main color is going to be... I'm actually kind of sad that we don't have like a good kind of approximate color. I'd like a light kind of powder blue. Cipher blue is a little too dark. So I guess, yeah, I think neon blue is going to be our best bet. Top pattern, we've got, ooh, we've got different tops we could, uh, leopard print is maybe a thing. Just because that's hilarious. Speed crush, techie, white, let's go with, um, hmm. Let's go with white. Hairstyle, got bald. We could be jet black on that one if we wanted to. Dreads. 
Dreadster or Dreadzer? What what's the dreads and oh dreads and dreadzer is just more dreads. Got man bun, mohawk, short ponytail, sidecomb, and the yeah. Hmm. I think we're gonna go with Dreadzer. Because that actually reminds me of my character in Oh god, what's it called? Uh Gr Guild Wars, there we go. Air color, we're gonna go with like Arctic White. I think, yeah, that's gonna be the best we can get. It's just we have white or we have clean white. Both of them are gonna be about the same. Weapon skin. Got dark tech. We've got default, we've got greeny, and we've got junkyard. Oh no dark tech, it looks kinda clean. Yeah, that looks fine. Creator. Confirm. Sure, we'll go with that. Nice contrast. And let's go on in. Okay, I'm using keyboard and mouse starting out. Okay. So is that thing just kind of waiting there? I don't have a gun. We do have an aim thing. We can actually get our weapon out, I think. Okay, so what does it want me to do? Did we just knock him over? Yeah, we actually do knock them over. Press tab to access our imp. Okay, find information about a myriad of things in the world, locations, characters, meet alien species, corporations, and general knowledge about the world and technology. Read the enemies after you defeat them. And find game help with a collection of tutorials. Okay. Okay, so imp has a bunch of tutorials. So we have all of these, which is just aim by holding the right to shoot over small enemies and obstacles. You can also inflict a stagger while lifting your gun. We also have gamepad stuff there, aiming with the mouse. Aim, yeah, we just aim, use your mouse. Click more stagger. Armor rating. Every piece of armor gives you individual defense rating for each damage type. Make sure to equip armor best suited for the type of incoming damage you want protection from the most. It's also very important that you keep up with the quality of armor as you start encountering enemies of higher level. A lower defense rating will be punishing against stronger enemies. I don't know. I have a feeling that's going to be reducing damage considering it says specific damage types. Okay, and we have attributes as the base of the very... It's the base of the high-level functionality of your enhanced body. It drives the efficiency of installed augmentations. Groovy. And then we have the abilities Q and E, which are going to be like our various other abilities that use energy. I think. Some abilities automatically target enemies in reach and signals this with the marker on the target itself. Some of those cannot be executed unless there's a target acquired. Okay. Augmentations can be bought and found. They give you the new abilities and work even better if they sync well with your skills and attributes. Install augmentations via the journal. Okay, so that's probably over here somewhere. Or up here. Oh, no, we got the stuff up here. Okay. Uh, okay. Out in the field by visiting the rafter. Doing it without a grafter touch will deplete your energy. You can find new augmentations in the world from enemies or buy them from rafter. Is energy going to be very limited? I'm not sure. I might actually turn the volume up a little bit. I am noticing it is not showing anything over there. Certain enemies are known troublemakers, so that's just bounties. We've got cover. We can crouch with left control and aim high to shoot over it. You can crouch and navigate under overhanging obstacles and take cover. Oh, we have to crawl under short things. Cool. When fighting with friends, you're not dead. Just because you hit the ground, you can still struggle to keep them keep alive and hope for a friend to reach you in time to revive you. Okay, so we can't actually do that without allies. We're playing solo. <laughs> and let's see. Travel around the world using premium taxi service. Trains. Trains are like our waypoints. These are going to just be call for a taxi at any call moment with T. But you'll get anywhere you want. And this one's just like to waypoints. Hack everything with Cyberdeck Reach by hole. Okay. Hack everything with Cyberdeck Reach by... Within Cyberdeck Reach. Blech, by holding C. So C is that. In this world, requires require a Cyberdeck capable of hacking that particular type. What your Cyberdeck can hack can be read in the journal's character screen and blah, blah, blah. Hold to equip. Press F to equip weapons and armor and place it in your inventory. So hold F to immediately equip it. So if we tap it, we can pick it up. And if we hold it, we equip it. Ice is intrusion countermeasures. That's just a normal thing. Attempting to override locks in the world, it might require a cybertech capable of breaking said ice. Very, they, they use that in every kind of, like, cyberpunky thing. Uh, 
let's see. Interacting is F. Bring up the player journal with tab. Got equip armor at any time by selecting a piece for your head, upper body, and lower body. Summary will show you how defense types compare to what is currently equipped. Then we have the augmentation slot. We have the character slot. We have the codex, which is this thing. We have loadout up there. So we have, yeah, armor, augment, and then we have maps and missions coming up next. Loadout can be view viewed on the fly. Two weapons and one choice of tactical gear. Okay, those, so they're sorted by MK level, which is, I guess, probably their strength level. Check out all your started and completed missions and their status. Set which one to track and keep an eye on the recommended level of side missions. Okay, and then we level up by just getting XP. Yep. Map segments. Acquire more max, map segments as you reach new zones. Your imp will automatically survey and download the relevant maps into the current zone and store them in your journal. So we have that up there for that. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, they say, but how about something bigger? And yeah, they don't consume ammunition and are especially effective against certain types of enemies. Sweet. Uh, they can be used for special attacks using right, and special attacks consume energy. Increase the evasion skill also increases the attack speed of melee weapons. So if we want to, like, go full-on brawler, we actually want to invest in evasion. So that's a good thing. So that your system bring up currently tracked objective and a navigation projection on the ground... Modules are installed in your body. They're passive boosts. Your body can only have two modules active at one point. You can find them in the world from enemies or buy them at the grafter. Okay. Okay, so we have movement. We have keyboard. Neutrals. Uh, be cautious around people in dangerous areas. Some people don't attack on sight and will let you leave. Don't be ready for... Oh. We'll let you leave. If you don't leave, they'll shoot you. It's fine. Photo mode in the gameplay settings to activate photo. Leave photo again using backspace. So basically we can take pictures. We could use that for a thumbnail. Here in different colors, peach, bronze, silver, gold, and purple. Okay, so these are going to be your normal, like... So per peach, bronze, silver, gold, and purple. Those are going to be uh, all over the place. Because peach is, I'm guessing, going to be normal? And then purple is going to be your legendaries? Shoot and reload. Fire your weapon, then you press R to reload. Side missions. People looking for help. And you can actually track them using the map and missions thing. Yes, I am looking through these. Skills are the efficiency at which the character executes certain actions and body capabilities. They're all tied to allocate skill points. In the journal. That's cool. Stagger is inflict, inflict enough stagger damage on an enemy a short amount of time. Cause them to stumble backwards, preventing them from attacking and moving until they've regained composure. So you can see their composure as a yellow bar. So it's going to be that little thin one right there. And a seemingly weak attack can still pack a punch. Okay. Stylus can make you look like the way you want. Visit one. You want to change the appearance while keeping the attributes of any armor you're wearing underneath the new style. Uh, you're free to equip any armor you see fit based on their gameplay properties without showing. Hey, Adam, how's it going? Yep, new game. We, we beat the last one. I'm just looking through the tutorial real quick. Um, swap weapon with the mouse wheel. Tactical equipment ranges from grenades to robots. Deploy with G and press G again to detonate in advance. To deploy a tactical, it's required that the tactical charge is full. So basically, we have to punch things around until we can use tactical. Then we can trade and upgrade. Okay, all weapons can be upgraded if you have the required components. Okay, so we just have to go to a gunsmith for it. Maps and missions. Check all your started and completed missions. Oh, it's giving me tutorials within tutorials. Yeah, we've already looked at this. So, og slot, we don't actually have anything to put in these. Yeah, we just read all this. We got free flow pants. <laughs> oh... But yeah, I take it life's treating you well. Our loadout is we've got a protector and nothing in the rest of our stuff. And this is bounties collected. We don't have any bounties skills. We have none. We has none. And then we have, we have a basic cyber deck, I guess. Range and a 0.5 second cooldown. Sweet. I don't have anything I can actually deal with. Just seeing if there's anything I can hack in here. I, 
I assume it would show a little thing if I could hack it. But no guarantees. And I don't know if I can actually interact with these. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can. I'm guessing I cannot pull out my weapon here. We do have environmental physics, though. I'm guessing there's not going to be much in this area. Yeah, I can't even punch them. We are currently incapable. Oh, we can actually open all kinds of things. Okay. Everything is functional and broken in... Okay, everything is as functional and broken at the same time as always. The soups are doing their job, flying scraps and welding their little silicone hearts to content, and I still don't really get what the walking monos are up to. Okay, so... Nice. I think I might actually want to do this with controller. Which means I'm going to have to, like, double check all the controls again. What is this right here? Besides just out of range. Can I not? Nope. <laughs> nope. No, no hopping across that. <laughs> I can't take a nosedive and run across whatever the hell that is. So that's probably something we'll get to later. I. Yes, the camera's watching me. Robot there. Press left control to crouch so that you can navigate under overhanging obstacles. Okay, so yeah, we're still tutorial here. I didn't actually have to read all that. I'm going to switch to controller. Ah. So that's crouch. That's dodge. That's zoom out. We will learn them as we go. Uh, what is our hack ability? Okay, so that's that one. That's maps and missions. Actually, we don't have access to options in here. There they are. Settings. Audio. Let's go ahead and turn that up just a little bit. Just so you guys can actually have some background audio going on. So back, back, back. Hopefully that's a little bit louder for you. So select is inventory. That is inventory as well. That is that. Hmm. What are the controls for that? Key mappings. Controls layout. Where is the um, cyber deck is Y. Okay, so yeah, we, we actually can get it to go. It's just, it wasn't, I have to hold it to get it to work. Yeah. It's a little bit finicky. Okay, so let's keep on going. Not much we can do here. We just got to keep moving. Okay, interact with an object by pressing X. There are many types of interactables not limited to people, terminals, doors, and pickups. Okay, so authorize. So yeah, that just authorizes us to move through. Looks like we've got dead bodies. What? Okay, press up at any time to see your objective. Groovy. And yeah, this just launches out one of these little numbers. Nothing we can do with that. I'm just double checking that there's like things that we can actually interact with. Oop, dead guy. Acquire more map segments as you reach new zones. Your imp will automatically survey and download. Yeah, we're just getting all the tutorials we just read. Lovely. I thought it was just going to dump that on me. That's that's at least a plus. 
Can I pick that up? I'm pressing all the buttons I can think of. Yes, this initial part is going to be me fumbling with controls. Because I need to figure them out. Let's see. Crouch, evade, interact, reload is X. There isn't actually a pickup button on here. I guess we just automatically pick up. So let's talk to this guy. So they finally sent backup. Okay. They finally oh, sent backup. he's got dialogue. Yes, the problem was to reach the stack tops or boom would have left me here to be scavenged rogues. Okay. I'll turn the discussion up in just a little bit so you guys can hear it. SI's locked itself into a recursive void loop. Whatever caused it's beyond that door. Together with a whole lot of ferals who came out of nowhere. Took a fat bite out of my thigh. Was all I could do to crawl in here and put the room in lockdown. You'll help out, right? Yeah, those ferals mean business. Almost got me. Don't go in there unless you're packing. Uh, they didn't tell you I was already down here. Poon. That dirty <laughs> Yeah, something caused the SI to implode. There's been some strange power surges down here in the deep stick lately. So it might be related. But I don't know. Answers beyond that door. Larger in the soups down here. And hungry, too. SI's the sentient intelligence operating this here Ultra Cup. The way back's clear now, right? Okay. So we need to turn the volume on that up. So we will turn dialogue. Let's turn dialogue all the way up. And hopefully that will be enough for you guys to hear it. You'll help out, right? Mm, that's still not very. Yeah, those fellows mean business. Almost got me. Watch your back. Do a little bit more adjustment here. Help out, right? That's a little better. Watch your back Hopefully it's loud enough for you guys. If it's not, tell me. Uh, you were right. I shouldn't have fallen for it. A new life, get a job with the Ascent Group, the trip to Velis, and everything set up. All I have to do is work... Oh. Just work off the debt as an indent. I got here, I got a job, and I guess you could call what I have done a home, but it's nothing like ads. I live in a dump run by a maniac, and I work in a place worse than that. Gonna take more than a rest the rest of my life to pay it off. Silver lining is that everyone here is in it together, and in some fucked up way, we're making it work. I've found some good people, better than the folks back home. Talk soon. Okay, hollow. So, we can't actually do anything with those. Can I do anything with it with mouse and keyboard? Nope. No, I can't. So it's literally just something that is off the list of things I can use. And there's nothing on this desk. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of wall humping. If I had to guess. Let's see. Bring the weapon up, I think, is... It should tell me in a little bit. Health at full... Oh, we can get health things. There are many objects in the world require a cyberdeck capable of hacking. A particular type, when your cyberdeck can hack and be read by the current girl's journal screen, most things hackable in the world are indicated with the color yellow. Doors and chests can even be protected by more and more complicated ice, and as such, require an even more powerful cyberdeck. Upgrade your deck and increase its capabilities. Okay. That's that thing. Okay, so it's just it just hacks anything in the sphere. Oh, we've got our gun out. That means... Use right trigger to fire your equipped gun. Reload is automatic upon releasing the trigger when the clip is empty, but can also be executed man. Okay, so it'll automatically reload if it's... Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna reload there. I don't think we have, like, ammo proper. We just have ammo in clip. Oh, we just killed a guy. Sorry, buddy. And we just walk into that stuff to get it. Okay. I'll get, I'll get the hang of this. It's gonna take some getting used to, because we have dodge rolls and we have guns. And we also have twin stick shooter kind of controls. Like I can do this number. Go up five for sound. I can do that. Settings, audio. Hopefully that'll work out. Because the big trick is balancing the peak audios whenever we're doing that kind of stuff with the kind of like background stuff. Let's go ahead and reload. Okay, let's check. Let's go follow the left wall. Oh, there's another one of you. This is going to take some getting used to because I'm not used to doing twin stick shooters right now. And honestly, seeing my life down there is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt as well. Oh, we can't get through there. Okay. So, that's all we can go down that pathway. Oh. And did I just hear something start coming after me? Now I'm getting, like, paranoid about things. And yeah, you actually have to manually control with both of them. Otherwise, you will just turn the way you're walking. Okay. Aim high by holding left trigger to shoot over small enemies and obstacles. You can also inflict stagger while, while lifting your gun. Okay. Okay, we got them. We are armed. Not so dangerous, though. <laughs> it doesn't look... Oh, there's something we can actually access. Energy fluctuations affecting WMD system. Extract cause unknown. SI offline. Protective measure. Current repair protocol invalid. Okay, so they're doing their work. I'm getting a little better at this aiming thing. Alright, I'm uh, concentrating on not dying. It'll take me a minute. MPC sound, sound sounds okay now? Okay, groovy. Groovy. 